Hey, my name is Erin Carmody and I've lived on the Central Coast since I was a young child and um, Saratoga is where we're living at the moment and I couldn't imagine living anywhere um, anywhere else with yeah with a young family it's it's fantastic for for bringing up family surrounded by bush and um, and the waters close by as well. Since leaving school I've um, tried a few different career paths that haven't necessarily um, worked out the way I thought they would when I was going through school and um, during that time I met my now husband who was my next door neighbour at, um, at my parents home and that's been the main journey since leaving school has been establishing that relationship and then um, getting married and then yes yeah, starting our family. We actually we found out we were pregnant six weeks after our wedding and we of course really excited you know, go through the motions that you do when you first find out that you're pregnant. And um, everything was going really well up until we had our morphology scan at 19 weeks. And um, they had told us that our, our son had a congenital kidney abnormality, which meant that he had minimal function in his kidneys. And that affected the levels of fluid that he had around him, which meant that his lungs were not forming properly in utero. Our care was referred down to Royal North Shore and um, we had scans fortnightly and each fortnight there was a grim outcome predicted and um, they, they pretty much prepared us for the fact that our son wasn't going to survive long after he was born. As optimistic as we, you know, remained, we wanted to make sure that, you know, everything that we experienced and also what our son was going to experience was as, as best as we could possibly provide. We knew that we wanted to try absolutely everything so that if there was any glimmer of hope that, you know, he was going to, going to make it, we, we wanted, you know, all, you know, all opportunities to, to do that. We went into labour and he was born on the 21st of December at 9.14pm um, by caesarean and he tried, he tried so hard to, to cry, to, to do everything that a baby should do when they're born. The following morning um, they started doing more extensive tests, they were doing x-rays, scans, the, the doctors um, had, had let us know that, that he, he was very, very sick and that, um, that he probably wouldn't survive uh, too much longer. And the, the medical team at Royal Shore um, brought him to us after they'd um, taken all of the lines out and um, we had him for 15 minutes. We read a book to him, we, we sung with him and we just held him. It was the first time we'd held him without any, any chords, any lines and, um, and then we were there when he took his last breath. There hit a point probably a day or two before his funeral that you just felt, even though you have all of this support, you just suddenly feel this, this loneliness of, I need someone that understands this grief because I'm not grieving a lifetime of memories, I'm grieving the loss of a lifetime of memories, the fact that I don't get you know, to see milestones. I don't get to experience a life with my child. And that's how I came into contact with Yasmina's Gift of Hope. The main push of the charity is providing families with the Gift of Hope, which is a hand-decorated journal that, that is given to families to be able to write write their story down, to write how they're feeling on a daily basis. You know, there's things that you, you don't tell people that go through your head and it gives that opportunity to get it out of your head and get it onto paper. 
Yeah, through Yasmina's Gift of Hope, um, they provide support for families who experience stillbirth, uh, premature birth, neonatal loss and miscarriage. My greatest hope for this community with regards to the experiences that I've had is that families that experience a loss feel that they can talk about their child as much or as little as they want to. If families have that opportunity to talk about the, the things that could have been, maybe that will help them just a little bit on that lifelong journey of, of, of grief of losing a child. I want our babies to be acknowledged and, and, I, think, and I think that most families that have experienced a loss of a child want the same thing and I just want that opportunity to be there.